Good morning, Auburn Mountain View. I have some news for you. Some of you, I've talked to a lot of you over the past week or so and let you know what we are considering about going to one lunch. So starting on February 4th, the entire school of Auburn Mountain View will be having one lunch and it will be first lunch. So we'll go to first period, second period, and on the days we have core choice, we'll have core choice, then third period, then everyone will have lunch, and then we will finish the day with fourth, fifth, and sixth period. We are going to one lunch, and um, we've been looking at data, and I'll tell you the reason. 73% of you have skipped or been tardy one or more times to fourth period since November. So that is kind of ridiculous, and we can't have that. So now our philosophy is, you know, I have kids say, oh no, I have first lunch, or oh, I have second lunch, and you're really supposed to be in class. Well now, everyone either is at lunch or you're in class. There's no exception. So hopefully this will work very well, and we are going to walk you through the process of how you will line up. We send about 525 students through the lunch line every day between two lunches, and we are now going to have three different lunch lines. Starting next Tuesday on the 28th, when you come back, 29th, um, when you come back to school for second semester, we will still have two lunches, but we're gonna try the three lines so you can do it slowly and get used to it. The other thing that's going to happen is students will be allowed to eat in the hallway. I do expect that you clean up after yourselves. We're gonna put some tall tables at the end of the three and the 400 hall. We'll put some long tables at the landings, down at the stairwells. We will have some additional chairs and tables. Uh, if you would like to eat in a teacher's classroom and the teacher is okay with that, that's okay too, but all garbage needs to be put outside in or in the hallway garbage bin, not in a classroom teacher's garbage can. The teachers are entitled and part of their teacher contract is that they get a 30 minute duty free, I don't have to see kids for 30 minutes, free duty free lunch. So if teachers close their door, that means that they're not, um, they're not open to have kids during that time. They might need to be grading, they might need to make a phone call, so that's their prerogative. But if you are welcome into a teacher's classroom, that's great. Uh, again, you need to clean up after yourself, put your garbage in the outside hallway garbage can. So let's take a walk down um, through the commons and we'll show you what's go what it's gonna look like. Here we are going down the 500 hall. In the past, you've lined up this way to go into the scramble area, but from now on, if you would like chicken or chicken sandwich or chicken nuggets, you're gonna line up right down this way and you will pick up your lunch right here. So chicken nuggets, spicy chicken sandwiches, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, breaded chicken, Tuesday, Thursday. You're gonna pick up your, your hot item here. There will also be the veggies, the salad, the canned fruit, the fresh fruit. Then you'll come down here to where Miss Olga will be the cashier and you could pick up um, some milk, uh, dessert or something like that. So this is for chicken, all poultry. If you're going, if that's what you want, this is the line you're going to come to. The idea is that we're going to have multiple lines to try to get people through faster through lunch. So let's go ahead and figure out the rest of the story where you'll be. So our second line is for everything else other than chicken. So if you want the daily special, or if you want a burger, if you want pizza, this is the line you're going to get in to go straight down through the commons. Every day we will have the daily special so you don't have to wait in line and wonder what it is and then get in there and say, oh, I don't really like that. So every day, daily special. And if you want a burger or pizza, you guys show them the way. So you're just gonna oh, line up super... straight down and go right into the scramble area. And our third area is where we'll sell specialty soups. So when culinary arts gets up and running for the second semester, we'll start having um, fresh homemade soup and that will be served here where it always has been served and also any of the espresso drinks. So that's the way it's gonna work and we'll start that on Tuesday the 29th with two lunches and beginning February 4th, we'll go to one lunch. We expect that people are respectful to each other. They don't run to get in line or to get a table. We will have more tables out. Again, kids can be in the hallways. We'll open the one, two, three, and 400 hall. And please, please, please pick up your garbage. We will have adult supervision and um, um, I've been a little disappointed with a group of boys that have been trashing the boys' bathroom and if you wonder why they've been closed, that's the reason. So that won't happen because we'll have more adults in the hallway and um, please be respectful of your school and clean up after yourself. Thanks and it's great to be a lion, world's greatest high school.